Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with the message that you need to hear right now. So I actually just got done recording from my main channel, but another message wanted to come through today, which is really rare. So I'm just gonna hop right into it and find out what your angels really wanna tell you guys today. What is going on? Let's see. All right, we got justice here. So I definitely feel like this is a good message. A lot of you guys have been going through a lot of stuff and I feel as though you are being reminded that justice is on your side. At times, it's really gonna look like people have it out for you. I know what it feels like because sometimes you really feel like you got a good thing going on, a good friend going on, a good job situation, and all of a sudden shit starts hitting the fan. But it's because you guys really are these high vibrational people and you don't mean to do it, but sometimes you really bring out the darkness in others, especially when you are somebody who's onto this like self-development mental energy where you're constantly growing and changing you may meet someone at a certain point in your journey and it may feel as though you're on the same level as them but then you grow quicker and faster than them and then they start to see you get all the success all the blessings and I feel as though you guys are not really comparing yourself to other people in that way. Even if you feel like someone is a little behind you, you'll help them hold their hand through it. But some people just don't operate like that. They don't really want your help. They want to try to uh, compare themselves to you. I feel like the justice is there because you guys always try to do right by people, but not everybody has the same heart as you guys. And I like to remind my lightworkers and healers and my friend always says, like, not everyone's like you. She said her mom used to say that to her. And it's true. Like, not everyone's like you. Like, not everybody has a good heart. And I feel with the justice there, it's like you guys need to realize that you're even when you're being done wrong there is a blessing on the other side like your angels never want you to think that they're allowing people to just take advantage of you even if you're in a situation that's tight where you're in a situation with somebody or something that doesn't seem right there's always a way out a solution a lesson a blessing and there's always a miracle on the other side of that and i feel with the justice there i feel as though you guys always try to do the right thing and then you try to learn the lesson and move on and that's the best thing you could do you're not staying in these situations hoping for changes you're actually trying to get yourself out in the best way possible and i feel as though also you're getting a lot of good karma coming Coming in we got the four of wands there yeah i feel like a lot of stability is coming into your life i really feel like whoever's watching here there must have been a situation that happened where you feel as though you've been treated very unfairly and a lot of you still have fear about some situations that are going on in your life uh currently like i feel that you could be um involved in, in certain matters that it's out of your control so you just gotta let things uh flow i feel as though with the seven of cups queen of cups your angels are saying that you're gonna start having a lot of blessings and miracles coming in and you're gonna start dreaming again I feel like the Eight of Cups and the Five of Swords, like a lot of you got this gift of awareness now. Well, you always had it, but now you're no longer second guessing yourself. You're no longer being gaslit. So when you see someone acting weird, off or strange, you no longer give the benefit of the doubt. I definitely do this thing where when I start peeping something, I kind of just like take note of it. And sometimes I don't like to say things too quick or too soon, but I start to build kind of examples just in case I have to have a, what I call a constructive conversation with somebody because at times people could just act out of fear or insecurity, but there are certain points where some people just start to to repeat certain patterns again 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 and it becomes an issue in your life like i feel like everybody has down moments and i like to talk to my friends about this too because there's going to be nights or days where not everybody is their best self and if we judge people on their worst aspects we're no better than any narcissistic person i feel like when i was in some narcissistic connection it was like i could never do anything right whenever i had a bad day i was the worst person ever and i feel as though you guys have been through that as well so you always give everyone a second chance benefit of the doubt room to grow but there are certain people who just don't have your best interest at heart at certain points and it has nothing to do with you it has to do with the fact that you guys are on a different vibration than people and you often you also get blessed a lot when people try to do you wrong so it's like when they're gunning for your life or when they're competing with you directly they will get instant karma especially if it's someone that you're helping or caring and they will actually trigger them more and i feel like this happens so that you can kind of see the truth for certain things like everything is free will i feel at the end of the day like no one's destined to be terrible towards you guys so if you start seeing that somebody is just acting off weird or strange you guys are being advised to you know, have a conversation with them if needed and separate yourself. Some people respond more to silence at the end of the day. I feel like, especially if you kind of already um, had a conversation a few times about certain things. Um, let's see what else we have with the sun here. And then we have the empress and then we have ten of cups i really feel like a lot of happiness is coming into your guys' life i feel like you're really like glowing right now and you just have a lot of people like i said i just posted something about you know there will be opposition on my instagram to follow queen alice love and i know a lot of you guys say that i talk fast um this is actually a second channel so some of you guys who don't know me i channel super super fast but there's always an option in the corner of the video that you can slow the video down i try to add the subtitles in there if I try to slow down, I miss some of the message and I've always been a super fast channeler and a super fast talker. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, if I try to slow down too much, I feel like I'm gonna miss some of the um, messages. Oh, we got a card fell on the floor. Let's see what we got here. 
Ten of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. There was definitely somebody that is going to crash and burn, I feel. There's a lot of feminine energy in this uh, pile today. Uh, for my women out there watching, you know your girl Alice is a bit of a feminist, but I feel like some of you ladies, you're really on the come up, the glow up, and you may find that some feminine energies around you really aren't rooting for you, and there's really nothing you can do about it besides just keep shining and following your happiness. I definitely feel like there could have been someone here that... Um, yeah, want a little bit of what you guys had going on or want to in on what you had going on and you guys just weren't having it. Um, let's see. Yeah, we got the Nine of Swords here. Three of Swords. Six of Cups. I feel like a lot of you are just going through a transformation where you're just realizing that life is going to be a constant um, battle between you guys glowing and shining and certain people just acting up. And I feel as though um, you're always just going to get blessings on the other side of that. So don't worry about that. I definitely feel like with the Temperance here and then we got the King of Swords. And then we have the Ten of Wands that, yeah, I feel as though you guys are doing a really good job balancing all the BS that people are putting you through. I really feel like you guys also have a King of Swords inside of you. Like, I feel that for my intuitives out there, you guys actually really strengthened your logical brain because you had so many people second guess what you saw, what you felt. So you actually developed the ability to analyze, understand, and psychoanalyze people and even take note of things. And I feel as though, like... At the end of the day, if someone's throwing off balance, not only can you guys intuitive pick it up, but you also, uh, King of Swords people's asses, like you also got the facts, the evidence, and the logic, like I was saying. Some of you guys may have Libra in your chart. Some of you guys may work in law or could have a career in law or something like that because I feel like a lot of you guys are really good at, you know, making your point known. And you don't really want to do that because you actually came up as the Queen of Cups first or the Queen of Cups came up first. Like you're really sensitive and loving and you don't want to bring out this side of you. But angels are saying that when you have to have, if you have to let someone have it, let them have it because they give you full permission. The angels speak through you. Sometimes you'll be like, what got into me? I don't even know what, what came over. For me yeah the star in pentacles because i'm hearing make, make the stallion i hear i see a star up in this bitch like you guys are really like a star here like you really need to know that things are going to go up and up and up for you like this is your good karma season so i think people are going to drop like flies when they see some of these blessings but you're also going to get a lot of blessings coming in the form of people situations new job opportunities so you're not really going to be sitting around crying it's going to be disappointing more than it's going to be like hurt because i feel like in the day you guys have already been there done that you know how people move but you kind of are going to be surprised even at this next chapter if you're like to see who really isn't happy for you because i feel like in the day you always sense the certain people got a little bit of that side to them you know who really wasn't oh, we got the seven of swords who really wasn't uh, supporting you but you may notice that certain people are just kind of like backing off and being around you but i also see as well that yeah i feel like with seven of swords six of swords like you guys are going places and doing things and being happy and maybe there could be people here that are still you know wanting to be part of your life but at the same time like they actually just want to be there because they want to take from these blessings that you have and i feel like you guys are so willing to give but the thing is that some people will start to get in the way of these blessings because they're not on the level you're at and uh yeah sometimes that just happens people tend to just not have the ability to operate on the same level as you guys when you reach a certain um elevated point so unfortunately it's like um they start acting in, in negative low uh toxic vibrational ways all right with the devil here and the emperor you also have somebody here who's interested in you guys i feel like a little bit of an obsession going on here yeah, you have an emperor here, guys. Okay, so there could be someone coming into your future. I was just talking about this in literally my pick a card. You guys should check that out the last pile if you feel drawn to do so because if I was just picking up on an energy of that. You know, a lot of those people in that pile are going to get into a union or get into a... Oops battery's dying yeah get into a situation that's my battery died in that, that pile too get into a situation where um yeah i feel like you guys may feel especially drained right now because of these transformations you're going through and like i said a little bit of that evil eye man like i feel like especially with someone close and around you um i feel like with the de emperor here and the devil yeah there's definitely someone who's got it bad for you guys this is like a new dick but like the devil here is kind of cute like she kind of looks like Ooh, like i'm obsessed like it kind of feels like a lighter version of the devil there like versus like i kind of have a healthy obsession with you uh or maybe it's not so healthy but there's definitely someone here who puts you on a pedestal or they're coming into your life and they're going to be like super, super um, generous with you guys. It could be in your future or in your life right now. So if that's happening, that's going to be a trigger for this. But I feel as though like, um, yeah, just got to be careful. You know, some of my, um, like I said, I always say to you guys, I'm a girl's girl. I support women 110%. But in the day, um, I sometimes had a hard time seeing when my friends were being toxic because I was so loving and forgiving towards women. But I feel like, you know, men have their flaws. Women have their flaws. You guys know I am someone I used discernment. And every single person I meet, I always, you know, judge them on, on the same scale. Like, and then I, you know, I go from there. Every person. Even though I have some preconceived notions due to life experiences, every new person I meet has a fresh slate. And I always tell God, you know, show me something different. I may think that women are like this, men are like blah, blah, We all have those things. I try to erase those types of mindsets because um, when you enter new levels, you get higher level soulmates, better conversations. I'm hearing that one song. Um, 
you know, with Ariana, one Tommy love, one Tommy patience, and even these, even situations with uh, family or friends or people or lovers that you you could still love these people from afar or love the journey you had with them. But some people are only just meant to supplement you on certain aspects of your journey, and some people are meant to go all the way. And sometimes it doesn't have to be, oh, you know, fuck this person. Da, da, da. Sometimes it's really just, you know, they were there to, for a season and for a reason to bring you to your next step. But there's definitely going to be some love lesson coming in. Like this is going to be part of your good karma. I feel there's some of you as well. This could be an energy of someone coming in, being really generous with you. You guys also have an empress and emperor and empress inside of you. Oh my God, what did I say? Friendship and mature man. Oh, some of you guys getting a sugar daddy or what? No, I'm playing. But um, I feel like with mature man and friendship, like some of you guys are going to be building like positive business relationships or this could be networking because this could have to do with work. But there's definitely someone here who's putting you on a pedestal and I feel like it's going to bring some positive stuff into your life, uh, especially if um, it's the dating situation. But I feel like it could be work. Um, for some of you guys, this is around you right now and causing the trigger. But some of you, it's going to be a warning about this blessing coming in is going to trigger a lot of people. <laughs> so watch out for that. And you're, it's probably the people that you kind of figured would be triggered by something like this, um, especially for, you know, some of the feminine energy that see you know a masculine helping you guys out as something that you know they would want um yeah because i feel like you guys are glowing up because you've got a lot of people wanting to come in and help you out you're in a new season so just let go of these people that are causing issues and drama because at the end of the day it's like if they can't be happy for you then that's just a that's just a sin of itself because you guys always allow everybody to grow change support everybody and i feel like uh yeah you know because if you don't get some of these people out of your life and out of your circle they will try to ruin and get in the heads of the people that um, you know, are meant to be in your life. And I, that's the one thing I always say, because, you know, when I started to eliminate some toxic people, uh, other people around that people come and tell me, oh, yeah, this person was saying this, this, and this. And it's like crazy because, you know, if you have a really toxic person close to you, they have immediate uh, interactions with the people around you. So they could start stuff and you guys wouldn't even realize it. And that's why I always say, you know, coworkers, this and that. Be careful to you tell your business to let people know, hey, you know, this person has a tendency to tell stories. So don't believe, you know, if you know that, you know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay. But I, I feel like some of you are in situations where there's people where you can't control, you know, them being in your life or not. But I feel like it could be work. So you guys in the workplace, some of you guys, it's just, um, yeah, there's certain situations or friendships or relationships are just not going to work anymore. You don't, you're not dealing with the gossip. like, And you're going to notice that you're on a different vibration when uh, you don't want to sit around listening to gossip or people talking crap. There's a difference between somebody running through an issue in their life and wanting advice and or venting versus like, okay, every day we're talking about the same thing or people are talking bad about people. I really feel like a lot of people are seeing your positive qualities, especially people that you guys date. Um, I know there's men out there watching too, so whatever gender you date. Um, but a lot of you as well are um, not letting anybody control you anymore. So you can openly receive these blessings because I feel as though there are going to be people triggered by a lot of amazing blessings coming into your life next. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are going to get some money coming in, opportunities to travel, or just people that are willing to travel and go the distance for you. And I feel that um, you guys are like longing for like, um, you know, some new things coming into your life. So don't sweat the small stuff. I feel you guys are actually learning the ability to kind of just go cold on people um, instead of just making it a whole like, um, you know, painful. It's going to be painful when, you know, you have to distance yourself, but sometimes it doesn't have to be that dramatic. Sometimes you just peep something and just keep it moving. You know, it doesn't always have to be like, oh, you know, you did this, 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 because you guys are just not feeling the drama. Although you guys are young, you're very mature for your age and people take note of that. You're not letting anybody else dim you anymore. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be career blessings coming into your life. And I feel like as well, your love life too as well. Like those could be directly correlated for some of you. But at the end of the day, you guys are being advised to enjoy your life still. Don't get discouraged about friendships or fun or are just are dating just because you had bad experiences it's something that you guys need to realize that those are just teaching you lessons to make room for the new and better and if you have these rapid ins and outs of people it just means you're growing super fast and there's going to be new people coming in for the next step there's always going to be obstacles on your path to success that is why you guys are here and i feel that um every six every challenge has a um blessing on the other side of it because it kind of elevates you and gives you a new set of awareness and it also sometimes it may feel like challenges or it may feel like you're going through a bad period of time but it's actually just you guys um, realizing things about people you've never seen before or something good happening to you has triggered something like sometimes you may be like oh my gosh why is everyone hating on me right now but you don't realize that you just had an amazing glow up and you look so good and it's just evil you know what i mean like it's actually always a blessing kind of there i feel like and you have to kind of see it like what causes this person to act like this because someone could be acting up around you but at the end of the day i feel like um yeah, anyone does you wrong is getting karma, for sure. Even in past love situations, maybe somebody younger than you could have done something. But I, I feel like you guys are really glowing and people are noticing that. And you are attracting a soulmate. And I feel like this emperor person over here could be a friend soulmate or a lover soulmate coming in to bless your life. Yeah, four of pentacles. There's someone definitely really interested in you guys and they don't want to let you go. Um, or there's someone coming in that is not going to want to let you go. So they're going to do what it takes to kind of like be in your life. Let's see. 
But on the downside too, as you get these new blessings coming in, watch out for people that will do anything to hold on to you, but do anything but change to be in your life. Yeah, I feel like a new love coming in for a lot of you. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Could be Earth sign person, could be Taurus. Um, doesn't matter. Could be Air sign too. A lot of you are reluctant to love. I've definitely been picking that up on oops, the lovers came out reverse. See, I told you because of past experiences, but I'm telling you, not everybody is going to be, you know, like some of these people experienced in the past and you hermit it away. I feel like you guys have dealt with, you know, for, like so much different crap. So you don't really believe that someone here is going to be like, but like your angels are saying like they will lead the right person to you. I literally just a love reading and I feel like it's like you guys being reassured over here on this channel too. Because I know some of you guys find this channel through other means that um, some of you really stopped believing in love because of all these tower moments. But these tower moments were leading you to your best possible ten of pentacles, which that's whatever it looks like to you. Some of you guys want the career, some of you guys want the house, the kids, some of you guys want it all. You have a person out there who is going to match that. And even before then, just expect better people and situations to be coming in. You guys fought for this new star and I feel like you're no longer fighting your intuition. You're just trusting it and keeping it moving. As painful as it is to see the truth about people, this last awakening you went through really uh, got you guys ready to pick up your bags and move if you need to. You're like, all right, I'm done with this crap. The Hierophant, King of Cups, and Ace of Wands. Yeah, it could be a water sign person coming in too. Just feel like there's going to be more people coming in that want to help you be there for you understand you so um yeah i feel like a lot of you it's interesting because it, for my feminines out there watching i see some of you actually um getting more masculine energy friends coming in um that kind of respect you and what you have going on which is an interesting message but or like people of the opposite gender people that you're that you would normally date or dating options possibly as well but i actually just see that you, you have this new level of like self-respect and and you're and you have people around you that respect you but also want to help you and some of you guys like i said you're a lot like myself you're like girls girls but i feel that there's also masculine energies out there that are willing to be in your life and support you in the things that you guys are passionate about because you have so much to offer. So um, again, don't really sweat people that are triggered by the fact that you can have this energy because some of you guys realize just because, you know, some of your experience dating with people didn't go well doesn't mean there aren't people out there that will help you. And I feel like you guys do have that siren energy. You can draw anyone towards you, masculine or feminine. And I feel like at times that brought darkness into your life. So you dim that ability. But there are a lot of like opposite, same gender, whatever gender you date, whoever. People want to help you guys out because you are um, an amazing person and you have big goals, big dreams. Or even if it comes down to the fact that some of you just want the, um, you know, your dream life is something quite simple, you can have that. And the more you eliminate people that you know would be mad if you got that dream, the better. Um, and you start to see that when things start to go well for you but yeah i feel like your dating life's going to get better but i feel like you guys should keep an eye on any friendships or a particular person that that seems to want to get in the way of you guys being in a happy connection because um i didn't really know that people had that until you know i guess i've been single for two years so i i took a lot of time out to heal so when i started to get out and date it's like whoa and, and, and actually like be more receptive to it. it it did trigger people in a different way i was like oh hmm, interesting like you looked like me when i was just denied everybody and just stood around in the corner Interesting, interesting. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing um, for you guys. I just see that with the King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Um, I didn't even see King of Pentacles. I meant to say King of Cups. But, yeah, you guys could have an Earth or Water sign coming towards you with, with uh, some kind of offer. It could be work or love. So get excited for that. And lots of good karma coming in, finances. And, again, don't worry about the pettiness because some people, I'm just seeing, like, there's people that are greedy. They just, they just feel like every blessing should be for them. And it, it doesn't make any sense because you guys did the work here. Yep. What did I say about King of Pentacles? Did I just say that, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel as though some of you guys, too, that you may meet somebody that is good for you and you may have people around you try to talk you out of it because of jealousy. Um, yeah, because I feel like you guys are seeing someone from a different perspective. Or, or the opposite, like somebody gave, encouraged you to date someone that wasn't even good for you. So you're like, hmm, was that a mistake or was that on purpose? You know, like I feel like you guys are looking at things through all perspectives. You're no longer, and that's why you're on this new level of divine uh, feminine, divine masculine. You're no longer, um, you know, weighing in everyone else's options before your own. You're trusting your intuition. And even if people say this or that about this person, you're trusting your own gut and you're going towards things without the need of the opinion of the village, you know? And that's what makes it true, true divine masculine and feminine because we talk about... You know, we talk about on this channel that divine masculines don't care what everyone else thinks. At the end of the day, they're going to go come towards you. So you guys are going to be in that same energy. Like, well, I don't care what none of y'all say. I still love this person. Yeah. But I do feel that, um, yeah, it's just that, like, of course, friends will look out for you and, and, and their advice is great. But there's going to be certain people that don't understand your journey. And it's going to be certain people that truly are jealous. Like, they want what you, what you have. So they're going to be like, mm, that person probably not right for you. But in reality, they want something like that, but they can't get it. But anyways, um, I feel like there's going to be a love blessing coming in and it could be very triggering. And you guys should probably check out my other video because I just did a love reading. But 
I feel like the blessing is also you guys are the king of pentacles. You guys are the emperor too. And I just see more abundance coming naturally into your life through all angles. Abundance of friends, money, success, because you're just being so open and receptive to the new. But of course, that's going to piss off people that are possessive over you and don't want to see you. You know, just watch out because you're spreading your wings and you're starting to fly. So watch out for who's trying to hold down your wings because, uh, uh, you know, you begin to see patterns with certain people. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. So I do hope you guys like that message. And yeah, enjoy your day, night, evening, and I'll be back soon. Bye, guys.